What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shawnee, and welcome back to the Women's Palace Say. Okay, so y'all know your girl is not on camera today, but that's good because I got a word and we don't come here for Shanice, we come here for the word. Okay, so this word has actually, I recorded it about a year ago, a year and some change, and I never posted it. I actually think I deleted it, and, but God has been on me about it. Like, God has been continually reminding me about this word. So last night, I'm like, okay, God, I'm going to be obedient and just release the word. So here we are. We're going to get straight into this word. And I want you guys to get out your Bibles. We're going to be in Daniel 2. And I'm going to read 1 to about 13. And then I'm just going to allow the Holy Spirit to flow, okay? So in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dream wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him. Then the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dream. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Then spake the Chaldean to the king in Syrac, O king, live forever. Tell thy servant the dream, and we will show the interpretation. The king answered and said to the Chaldean, The thing is gone from me. If ye will not make known unto me the dream, with the interpretation thereof, ye shall be cut in pieces, and your house shall be made a dunghill. But if you show the dream and the interpretation thereof, ye shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honor, Therefore, show me the dream and the interpretation thereof. They answered again and said, Let the king tell his servant the dream, and we will show the interpretation of it. The king answered and said, I know of certainty that ye will gain the time, because ye see the things is gone from me. But if you will not make known unto me the dream, there is but one decree for you. For ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me till the time be changed. Therefore, tell me the dream, and I shall know that ye can show me the interpretation thereof. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord, nor ruler that acts such things at any magicians or astrologers or Chaldeans. And it is a rare thing that the king requireth, and there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods, whose dwelling is not with the flesh. For this cause, the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain and that they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down. What are we talking about today? Well, first and foremost, God gave me a revelation over a year ago that I have been sitting on about the 12 signs. Okay, I'm going to be the first to tell you if nobody already have or you haven't already received this revelation. Okay, the 12 signs, Capricorn, Aquarius, Isis, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, baby, that is demonic. That did not come from God. And that is from Satan. As we know, Satan is not a creator. He is a copycat. He copies everything God does. God has the 12 tribes of Israelites, right? Satan wants the 12 signs. And he makes us believe that I'm a Capricorn, that I'm an Aquarius, that I'm this, I'm that, right? Not realizing that not, that did not come from God. If it's not biblical, that ain't it. And what God made me realize about this on how I came to this conclusion as I was reading this, right, transparent moment, when I first came to Christ, when I first got saved, um, I went into this new age season. And what is that? Online, I never went personally to no tarot card reader or nothing like that, but online, YouTube videos started to pop up with certain tarot card readings and they will have, okay, you look at your signs and you go on there and they seem to tell you about certain stuff and it like clicks and it's the accuracy and it gets you hooked. Okay. I was a babe in Christ, deceived baby, 
truly deceived okay then they went on to about this white magic or these white witches where some good witches that help the collective move forward in their healing journey and then it's some bad that's out here doing magic and all this type of stuff right but I, what i always um caught me is whenever you go when they was like oh if you want to do readings or whatever never did a reading but they would say it, uh say it um say it you know sing your name in your birthday so what stuck out to me is how these Chaldeans or these astrologers or whatever, they wanted something from here first. My experience, I can only speak on my experience. I don't know what other people's experiences was. But when God spoke to me, he made me realize how it's always something that they need in order to give you something back. And then what stuck out to me again was he says that you will gain the time. This was revelation when god gave me <clears throat> excuse me when god gave me the 12 signs right we know satan is not omnipresent omnipotent omnipotent i think that's the word like god which means he cannot be everywhere at once he does not know everything you feel me he's limited and just like god assigns an angel to you when you are born satan assigns a demon and these demons are on assignment to get to know you right familiar spirits monitoring spirits and he gave me this vision with these signs right on how it kind of connects right back he can't be any everywhere at once he has these um demons right so the vision i had got was like when you come into say for example we're going to use this as a scenario you go into a tarot card reading place or a reading place psychic reading whatever whatever and they ask you for your birthday now I want you to take this literal because in the spiritual realm is way faster than this physical realm. So when you come in, you give your birthday, right? That's a sign, right? This is the order. God is a God of order. Satan is going to copy that. He's going to have his order together so he can deceive you. His whole plan is to make Babylon fall, to, to, to destroy the mankind race. So he has his order with the 12 signs. Okay, say for example, you go in December, okay, Capricorn. What demons were assigned in this Capricorn series or era? era? What you feel me? So you will go there. Now this is this is the spiritual realm we're talking about. So it's not going to delay. Then they got the monitoring spirit that was around your age that knows about you. So now this monitoring spirit is speaking through this person to you to give you accurate information to make you be like, oh my gosh, this must be a god. This must be something that gets you hooked, right? Because that was me. I was ignorant that. You can be accurate, but it still can be a wrong um, spirit behind it. You know, it doesn't take away the fact that just because it's accurate doesn't mean it's Holy Spirit. Doesn't mean it's God. And like I said, I was new in this thing. So I didn't have no clue on that. But as God, that's God makes everything work out for your good. And this is why he's been laying it heavy on my heart to reveal this. Because people are deceived. When you sit here and realize that monitoring spirits, familiar spirits is going to know about your past. They're going to know about certain things because they're familiar. They were there. They were assigned. And how he made me realize that the seasons are the reason why the stars are aligned. So sometimes we get caught up on those things. And he's taking me back to Acts where um, the lady was, I don't, I forgot what she was screaming, but she was screaming accuracy, right? These are the people of God, you know, da, 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 da. but Paul rebuked her and that had to sit with me for a while because I didn't understand why he rebuked her at first, right? Because she was speaking accuracy. It's the spirit behind it. Just because a person tells you the truth or give you some accuracy doesn't mean it's the Holy Spirit, right? We're going to continue to say that because we need to understand that so we do not be deceived in this era, in this time. It's always something from nothing to tell you a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I remember John Ramirez telling me this, not personally, of course, but on the video where he was saying what they do is with these spirits, this vision that I got the scenario you go in you tell your birthday that's something they give you something they give you something back give you a little oh this happened and you was in this relationship and this happened you like oh my gosh yeah so now satan doesn't know the future they're going to predict your future right and how are they predicting it you let a you opened up a door you opened up a portal so now that the spirit 
is now that the enemy has a foothold, he's coming in. So now what he spoke over your life may come true, right? It's not always necessarily that it come true because there's some things that on those tarot card readings that they said never came true. But it, it opens up a way for it to come true because now the spirit can go home with you and make what happened that it said was going to happen, happen. So now you're in this delusion. Oh my gosh, it happened. I'm going to continue to go. See, Satan is the type, I realize he just drops. You ever seen a scene where they're dropping candy or something and the people is following it and following it and following it. That's what he's doing. You're following like crumbs to the lake of fire, to destruction. And we don't even really know it because we're so stuck on this and i know some people are gonna have a hard time with this because i i ain't never really been t attached to a sign right i used to identify as a capricorn i am a child of god i don't believe in none of that no more okay but some people are attached to that oh it's just a libra thing it's just that no it's not that is that 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 is deception and we need to be able to open up our eyes and realize that that is deception the enemy is copying god and he has a system in place to keep you bound he has a system in place to keep you in tree to make you be a snare unto yourself because you're seeking out earthly wisdom and another thing that i just thought about it says um to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. These um, astrologers, Chaldeans, and sorcerers and magicians are considered to be wise, but they're not earth, they're, they're earthly wisdom. They're not the wisdom from above. And as crazy as I'm doing my wisdom, um, my wisdom course right now, I'm realizing the difference between earthly wisdom and uh, God's wisdom, right? Because there is a difference and we have to be able to understand just because we consider them wise in this earthly realm does not mean the wisdom came from above. And if the wisdom is not from above, then it's no benefit. It's no use to you. It just giving you a lot of people have itching ears and it's very much shown in this season. It's very much shown in this time. And that right there, the enemy is using against you understand what's taking place these people always need something and i want you guys to read all of daniel too i'm not going to really go into it because that was just my revelation that i want to speak about but as you've seen daniel revealed to the man without the man even telling you you know and i don't really want to talk about prophetic and stuff like that because we're not speaking on that subject i know certain times people can just give you a prophetic word and it's still be from a demonic source but we're speaking on the subject at hand so let's stay on the subject at hand on the revelation that god has given me because a lot of times people like to go over or outside and what if this and what if that let's stay on the subject at hand okay like it's of course it's more scenarios of course it's more situations but i'm going to give you what god revealed to me and we're going to stay on that okay so as you read more you'll see that daniel did what only god can do it's certain things only god can do and that's just period can't nobody demonstrate it can't nobody copy it no none of that but i want you to be wise in this situation and just really allow more revelation to come unto you take this back to god and realize because like i said he gave me that vision of the uh, signs on how the demons are assigned to you right and how depending on your birthday you can go grab up what familiar spirit what monitoring spirit was around that time and seek out what you need to seek out and it clicks from my experience it clicked because every time it was a birthday every time it was something to um identify i need to identify you right because i'm not everywhere at once i have to be able to identify you and how do i identify you whether it's with the thing whether it's with the birthday it's something that i need to identify you with in 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 this case and in this case it is your birthday which correlates with the signs and you cannot tell me it's a coincidence that it's 12 tribes from god and it's 12 signs copycat not a creator he wants his tribes just like god has his tribes but he's deceiving people to think that oh you go read up on what's the mood today the libra it's a retrograde that stuff is 
demonic and deception it is seasons god created seasons and he's going after the seasons to make you feel like oh this is the retrograde this is the full moon this is that like no Please do not get caught up in that deception. I want you guys to go read all of Daniel 2 and just allow God to reveal more unto you, okay, about what's taking place with this. And um, do not confuse accuracy with the Holy Spirit because, of course, things can be accurate. Satan is a copycat. It does not say that he cannot do certain things. This goes back to... Um, genesis where you know the serpents i mean not the serpents the uh satan's people did did some of the things that uh moses did those people did right so we cannot be deceived on what we see and what we hear or this earthly wisdom that we fail to realize the deception behind it that we fail to realize what's taking place with satan is always something for something with god god gives freely you know, God doesn't require as far as that, okay? Because I want to say that to the extent of that God does require our obedience. God does require our participation, right? Because it's a partnership. But what I mean by that, he doesn't require like information or, oh, I need this money or, you know, I... I give freely right it says give freely what i have given unto you deliverance st certain stuff like that is free these people out here charging for readings they charging for different stuff that is not of god okay if they're sitting here saying we're gonna help you as a collective to heal right why are you charging people let that sit let that marinate god says and it's crazy how i'm in the gospels Give freely what I give unto you. You don't you don't charge people for deliverance. You don't charge people for helping them to heal, right? Certain things like that. But they're doing that with certain readings. So um that's it, y'all. I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to go ahead and talk about that and release that and um get in your prayer closet about it, right? Ask God to reveal unto you what it is that he revealed to me because that was just fascinating and if i left out anything i will probably do a part two because as i said this was like a year ago and i'm still kind of foggy on everything that god revealed unto me that's why y'all need to write down what god be revealing unto you he has convicted of me he convicted me of that i repented and um do better with writing down your revelations that god gave to you because you never know when he's going to make you spin the block and release it okay so i want you guys to go out and be a light in this dark world i love you guys until next time